Hello everybody, I'm the JY Effect, and welcome to Starbound. And uh, this is currently the Starbound beta. Uh, if you don't already know, Starbound is like the kind of Terraria sequel, basically, um, is kind of the nice way of putting it. It's a really cool, like, space version of Terraria, and it's super, super awesome. This is currently the beta version, like, Perturbed Koala, I think they called it, which is an absolutely fantastic name for a beta. It beats just having some numbers. Um, I'm currently this guy. I can't remember what race he is. Does it tell me if I go somewhere? Um, I am avian. Yeah, because that's the avian worker sheet. Uh, skirt, even shirt. Not skirt, that's the skirt. I've got the fancy skirt. Because it looks cool. Um, but yeah, this guy... Um, this guy's called Pipleon, as you saw there. And uh, the reason I called him Pipleon is because... In the menu screen, when he looked like that... He kind of looked like a cross between uh, the two Pokemon Piplup and Charmeleon, so I called him Piplian. And uh, what's cool about this game is they obviously know that it's slightly complicated. If I go over here and I press E and I can use tech or a 3D printer and God knows what all this crap is. Um, but that will become evident through tutorials, so there are tutorials for us to do. Now if we, so you've got loads of buttons up here, we can go into our bag or we can press E to do the same thing. Um, we have basic crafting, which is super, super useful. Uh, we have a magnifying glass, so we can kind of identify things. A device that holds many items, so this is basically the ship locker. And um, here we go, the quest log, or library. Um, so here's a bunch of quests that we can do. So, if we breed this one. As you navigate the galaxy in quest for self-discovery, it's important to know how to control yourself and the things around you. As such, we have prepared a quick reference guide to help you. Core controls. So, basically, we don't need to read that, but some people may need to. Uh, whereas we can skip to Journey Begins. You've narrowly escaped the wrath of the stargazers. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. You long to find the grounded to join with like-minded people. If only you weren't stuck floating in space. Oh, I didn't know there was more. You can't help but notice the irony of being uh, being a grounded. St you can't help but notice the irony of being a grounded stuck in the sky, vaguely at the back of your mind. You wonder if being in space will make it easier for Cluix to find you. Then you remember your atheist. Feeling reassured, you begin your quest. And that is the end of The Journey Begins book. So an avian introduction. For centuries, the avians soared through the skies, born on wings of feather and flesh. They were a proud, peaceful species, respectful of their traditions and gods. So respectful, in fact, that when their gods the Sunborn, spoke to them, they listened. They listened and obeyed as one god, Cluix, the last of the Sunborn, commanded their elders to clip the wings of the lower caste avians. Oh man, don't clip the wings, Jesus. Oh, I didn't even know I could still move with this on, that's pretty cool. They obeyed even as the flightless became ostracized, oppressed. Living only to serve Cluex, they obeyed as their elders erected tall towers from which the ascendants, the chosen flightless, were too. They obeyed as one by one the ascendants hit the ground never to fly again. Cluex, they were told, was pleased. Oh my god, Cluex sounds like a psychopath. Okay, let's find out the truth about Cluex. While it is the case that I may have escaped from my own self-preservation, it is important that I do not forget my larger mission also. Cloex is not real. I will prove it. If I can do this, I can free my people. I haven't heard of other species whose gods are celestial. Cloex, however, is flesh and blood, and yet he has not seen for many, many years. I will discover why. I will uncover the secret behind the Cloex deception, but also flee for my life. So, those are all the introductory books about somebody celestial, psychopathic god that apparently we are worshipping. But check out my ship! I have like a giant gold and like ruby ship. This looks like a giant red diamond. And my ship looks damn fine. It looks pretty dapper. Um, I've got everything I'm going to need in my kind of hot bar at the moment. So, that's pretty darn cool. In fact, can I put them... Yeah, so there, they'll be left click and right click. But let's beam on down if we stand on this thing. We will beam on down to the surface and...
damn, this is cool. Oh, we can just pick these up by pressing E. That's like Mario style, like the old school Super Mario Bros. Um, so, let's get these out of our hotbar. And let's get rid of this. Oh man, the music is so epic. And, um, yeah, let's... God, you can even walk backwards. Okay, that's a little weird. What's this? So this thing that I'm using... Ooh, I just got a lamp blueprint, a toxic chest. Is that a chest? I got a toxic chest. A chest with a tongue probably takes a licking. <laughs> wow. And we got a toxic lamp blueprint. Okay. That's cool. So this thing is basically uh, a multi-tool. It basically bridges the gap between pickaxe and axe and shovel. All those kinds of things. So, yeah, you just saw my hunger bar pop up at the bottom. Whenever you lose a bar at the bottom, it pops back up again. And uh, this tree's got to come down soon. It's vibrating like a mofo. Come on. There we go. And the trees actually topple in this, and then all the, the raw wood goes everywhere. It's damn cool. And we got 57 wood for doing that. So, that is mighty cool. Let's chop down one of these trees. You can also jump really high in this, and you can jump much further than you could in Terraria. And uh, it's super cool. It is made by different people than uh, Terraria, but it's still super, super cool. Right, let's try and get some more wood, and then we'll try and do our next quest, which I think is get a crafting table. And there is also what looks like a carrot next to me. Yeah, I just did I just get a carrot? I've got to rip it out the ground with my manipulator. I got a carrot seed for that. And, oh, that was not good. Okay, let's see if I can jump my way back up. There we go. Is that all the wood I needed? And, um... You can actually light up areas with the manipulator just looking around with it, so that may be a bug they need to fix because I can look all the way over here and go, oh, there's cool stuff over here. So I do think they need to fix it. And also, if you do it in multiplayer, you have two people that can do this, so yeah. Uh, but I believe I have a flashlight somewhere. It's on my right click. Oh, I can make particles zoom in towards me. What are these things? What's this? Give it to me. Come on. There we go, they all dropped off. Damn, can you actually swim up like infinitely in this then? What's that? Is that a piranha or something? Doesn't look very friendly. I killed it anyway. Okay, flashlight. This is what we need. You can have a little look round. If you don't want to do that, you can still put torches down, and they do look pretty damn cool, and they have a little flickering effect. Okay. Oh man, the music even goes quieter underwater. That's cool. So, oh yeah, there's my little oxygen bar, and my sword looks really awful. Okay. Nothing down here. So I think I can pretty much swim up indefinitely is how this works. So it's not like Terraria style. And we have dynamic weather. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know they had dynamic weather. Okay, let's... Um, where's our quest log then? Oh, let's teleport back onto the ship. Um, I didn't actually want to do that, really. I want to go back down. So it takes me onto this nice flat bit that I've spawned on, which is good. Um... Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, poisoned. This is poison water. Ugh. Oh, no, thank you. Um. <laughs> Jesus, the damage noise is ridiculous. Oh, what? Look at my health. How do I unpoison? Oh, I think I naturally unpoison. Okay, um... Go back into my bag. Let's get the toxic blueprint out of there. That's a seed, and that's a toxic-looking fruit. Okay, great. Um, that's a carrot seed. That's a bit of copper ore. And some dirt blocks. Okay, I think I'm going to need to mine out some more dirt blocks and build a path over the poison water. Because this could get a little ridiculous. Uh, 
in a way, can I only put down one? Is that not a thing you can do now? I do, I just want to put down one. Okay, if I only have one, I can only put one down, which, like, makes complete sense. Um, uh, where's my quest log? Uh, quest journal, keep track of quests in progress. It's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you'll need tools. To produce tools, you'll need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. So, set as current. And then I'm going to need to go to basic crafting and get me some wood planks. Um, and make a lot of them. Or quite a few of them. So, shall I just use up all my raw wood? There we go. So I can make some wood platforms, so they're just like stairs, um, but I can make myself a crafting table. So let's get me a crafting table. Quest complete! Well done! Using the crafting table will give you access to a wide range of new recipes, except reward. A new quest, food fight! By now you're likely beginning to feel hungry. Food can be found in a variety of places. But in a pinch, hunting is your best option. Obtain some alien meat by killing a monster with a bow and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked alien meat. So basically if you use a sword, um, that will not kill it, um, it will not drop any meat, which sucks big time. Um, is there any way I can place these down like without taking like four of them? I'll give it a shot. <gasps> yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's put this crafting table down over here then. That's a huge crafting table. Jesus. Okay. Wow. Um, so what can we make with this? We can... Okay, it won't let me scroll using the actual bar. I'll just have to use the mouse. Fine. Make a door. I can make a wooden crate. I can make a chair, a bed. Don't know where I'm getting... Can I even make that? Yeah, I just need planks. I don't know where I'm getting any fabric from, but I can make a bed. Okay, maybe I could start building a house then. Um, some packed dirt, cobblestone bricks, a metal workstation, wood planks. I think I see an alien wood. Uh, yeah, woodworm. Um, a hunting bow. Damn, I could really do one of them. Bandage. That'd be cool. A yellow dye, yeah, yes, that would be cool because I fell in bloody poison water. A yarn spinner. Um, I could do with fences, eh? That's pretty cool. Um, hmm. Let's take off the search thing. Okay, so I need to go kill some things and get some kind of plant fiber. So, let's head off in the poison water direction. Get poisoned again. Ow! Ow, ow, very much. Okay, I'm poisoned. I think I'm about to die, actually. Is that my health? Yeah, I just died. Okay. Look at this little respawning animation. I like grow up. That's pretty cool. Right, let's head back down and try and kill these things. Or at least find some plant fiber. That's what I need. So, hey, what up? Get some fight music. Can I even get up there? No. Oh, hello. You fancy coming down to my level? No. Okay. Oh, what's here? What's, what are you? What are you? I'm gonna go relatively straight down. Right, let's get these out of the way. What are you? Oh, 
Jesus. Damn it. Okay, what are these? Let's move that around in my hotbar. I've got to bring up my bag and then move these around in the hotbar. Um, plant fiber. Where did I get so many plant fiber from? Hmm. Maybe I can make a bow with them? What can I do with them? Oh, is this the light levels? Interesting. If I, uh... So is this going to give me plant fiber if I get rid of these? So you can see them vibrating. You can see them going. They're going. Come on. Come on, they gotta go soon. There we go. Get all of them. Perfect. Right. Let's get my torch. Um, let's put the torch there. And blocks over this side. Okay. So I think I'm, I'm hearing nighttime crickets right now, right? Oh, damn, look at this night time. Oh shit, I forgot that was there. Alright, oh, should we uh, take this out and put it back on the spaceship? Boing. So can we put this in the spaceship? Yes, we can. Okay, maybe let's just move where we've put it then. So, we could put it... Actually, I kind of liked it in between the windows. It's a shame you can't put it directly in the middle. Put it on this one, though. So we can craft stuff and look out the window and it'll all be, all be merry and good. Um, so, fighting stuff. No? Can I not make a... Where's this stuff? Yarn spinner. Okay, I want to make a hunting bow. So what do I need for that? I need fabric. That's all I need for that? Oh, I need plant fibre and unrefined wood. Okay, let's go get some unrefined wood. Can I just beam down from anywhere? Okay, indeed I can. Let's go find some wood. And it's kind of like daytime again. So you're just going to give me plant fibre, I think. Because these are like giant plants. So will this give me unrefined wood? This actual tree? I feel like these will. Yeah, they sound very tree-like. Okay, let's take out this one. I like the way they vibrate. It's really, really nice touch to things. Kind of reminds me a bit of Gary's mod, this, the universal tool that kind of does things, does everything for you, and has the little beam that comes out of it. Cool, tree down. I now have a lot more unrefined wood, let's just chop down another tree and that should be us good for a little bit. Although I'm not chopping down a tree, although you do hear chopping sounds but there is no chopping going on, I'm just vibrating this tree until it falls over. Which is an interesting touch. Come on blue tree, come on, there we go. Thank you for the wood. Okay, jump back over the hole. There we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's right. You just go into the cave. It's fine by me. I'll just have my torch out. I mean, if I really wanted to in that situation, I can just beam up and... Because you can do that pretty much instantly. Um, okay. Back at the crafting table. Um, there we go. Hunting bow. Craft. Good. And we'll put this on, uh, yeah, so, let's go back down and try and kill some things. Do I need arrows for this or does it, no, I think it just gives you arrows. So you actually have to hold it down like this, unlike Terraria, and you can see, when I hold it down, it glows just for a second there, and you get particles after it so in a way it's a little bit like Minecraft you kind of have to get like the optimal charge out of it 
Um, did I see a flying thing up there then? Hmm, who knows? Are these th things still down here? I don't know. I want to go find something and kill it. Sup? I want your meat. Thank you. I don't think you dropped any meat though. That is disappointing. Um, let's get this carrot seed. And let's go find something else to kill. We've got some fish we can kill. Although these do look like mechanical fish. Which I have to say is a little weird. Right, let's uh, jump on out. Let's go, some, go find something proper to kill. So, oh, hello. What up? Oh, the battle music is so weird when it changes. There we go. You're down. Oh, you dropped some light like, leather. Yeah, you dropped some leather. Okay, still need mobs to kill. Holding my bow like a little bit of a spesh, but uh, that's fine. Looking for things to kill. Is this like the edge of the world right here? Jeez, oh hello! Oh, you just destroyed me instantly, little pig thing. Alright then. Well, I'm gonna regenerate from a chick. I'm gonna go as this really small chick, jump around and then transform into Piplian instantly. So, damn. Well, that's gonna be the end of this episode and I'll go hunting for things next time. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and or a favourite and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.